Hello everybody, this is going to be a walkthrough for Alumni Escape Room Adventure on Xbox. It is um, going to be done on the Xbox obviously and this game has a couple more rooms than previous versions of this title which have added in a couple of extra achievements compared to the original Steam version. So we're going to go through as quick as we can, we will skip as much uh, stuff as we can but uh, there are still certain bits that we do need to do, like activating power for keypads and things like that. Anyway, <clears throat> first thing we're going to do, we're going to look at these uh, grading papers. And that will give you 100G in a few moments. And then uh, I've already got the achievement, so you won't see it pop up but then what you want to do is you want to just keep going back and forth in front of these books um, and you'll eventually get the bookworm achievements uh, it may help if you press uh, a over them but eventually you will get the bookworm achievements so once you've done that we're going to come over to this little uh, map here and we're going to put 67 million on Britain you're going to put 5 million on Ireland. You're going to put 59 million on Italy, which is down at the bottom right. You're going to put 47 million in Spain. And then you're going to put 67 meters on uh, France. This will give you a key. Once you pick that key up, we are going to go over to uh, the teacher desk over here. And we are going to interact with the drawer. No, we're not, I tell a lie. We are going to interact with uh, this door instead. Once we've done that, we are going to uh, turn to the right and we're going to uh, put these books in the following order. The one with the pencil on the spine is going to go into the third slot. The one with the house rocket thing is going to go onto the second slot. The microscope is going to go onto the first slot. And the geometry book with the castle on the spine is going to go into the final slot. We are then going to pick up this key. There we go. Now we're going to go unlock the drawer. So this will give us a fuse. We're going to put the fuse in this fuse box. Now we're going to come over to here and we're going to input the code 4967. And then go through the door, which will load up our next space. Right. We are going to turn to our uh, left here and we are going to put four, it's basically just filling in the Sudoku puzzle. It's a very, very simple puzzle, honestly. Uh, three there, two there, four there and one there. That's going to open up this door. Right, so once you've done that, we are going to go forward to this little uh, couch bit, which will give us 100G. We are then going to go under the stairs, which is going to give you another 100G. There you go. Right. Then what we're going to do is we are going to oh yes we're going to go to this box here we're going to press that button that button that button that button and that button which will open up the stairs then when we uh, go up the stairs there will be a uh, Color puzzle based on the Sudoku puzzle, but I'll give you the code here. The code is four three four four 
four, two. And this will bring us into the bathroom. We're going to go forward, we're going to pick up the uh, key off of that, and we're going to go into the left cubicle. That's going to pick us up that uh, keypad button. And we can just put it on there, there we go, right. Next, we're going to uh, go onto this keypad and we're going to type in mirror. That's M-I-R-R-O-R. There you go. And inside this, you'll have five slots and you want to click on Girl Gamer. Then you want to click on uh, Warzone. Then you're going to want to click on Gamers, and then Ninjas, and then Shooter Esport. That will open up the next uh, cubicle. Then what you want to do is going to click Triangle, and then Pentagon twice, Square, Triangle, Pentagon twice, and then the Square. Going to go in here. Look at that, that will give you persistence, 100G, and then you're going to type in the code. If you didn't check the pad before, the button will automatically go on it, and you're going to put in 4132. Okay, this is the first of the two uh, added levels. So you're going to open this, and the code, if you look at that on the right, and then... Um, that's uh, on the background, you'll see that the code is 8568. So we're going to click 8568, and that is going to give us this triangle shaped uh, dial knob thing. You need to come this side to pick up the 100G study achievement anyway. Okay. Now we can pick up the triangle knob. Right. Put the triangle knob on here. And then if you just quickly look at the calendar, you'll see that the numbers are 5, 7, 11. So actually that changes to 5, 7, 1, 1, indicating the sides of the pieces. So you do the pentagon, the septagon, and then the line twice which will open the door. Okay, moving on. Um, we are going to check this locker here, the leftmost locker, which will give you a key. And that key unlocks this room. In here, you're going to want to get this bit of pipe, and you're going to want to look at this puzzle box, and the code that you want to input on it is uh, 2515. Oh, thank you, camera angle. Right, we're going to grab that. Then, we are going to uh, come over to this fuse box and we are going to input the code 081412. That will open up the fuse box. We then need to back, out, back up a bit so we can get that bottom thing to appear. And then what we're going to do is we are just going to rotate all of these pieces to unlock that locker. We're going to go to this locker, we're going to pick up this key here, and now we can go through this door. Right, uh, da, 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 da. right. look up at the clock, and to rotate the butter, uh, the arrow, the, the uh, hands, you need to click on the minutes and the hour numbers. And you want to go to 535, that will open the door and we're through. Next one, we are going to quickly look out the second window, which will give you the window gazer achievement. 
And then what we're going to do is we are going to move over to this uh, to this uh, keypad, and then we're going to put in eight seven three zero two, and that's going to open the door to the next area. Okay, once we've done that, we are going to uh, go downstairs. We are going to look at the door to the right, and we're going to input half moon, full moon, half moon, half moon, full moon. So basically, top, bottom, top, top, bottom. And then we're going to come over to this code here, uh, or this, this keypad, and we're going to push in uh, the star button, the blue and white star button, the bottom button, the top left button, the uh, partial flag British button, the middle left button, and then finally the Japan button. And that's going to bring us into our next room. Okay, so what we're going to do here, if I don't get stuck on the cardboard box, is we are going to uh, pick up, or we're going to open that cupboard and we're going to pick up the rook. We're going to then read that. We are then going to come over to this drawer here, which gives us a key. Once we've done that, we're going to open this door here and we are going to pick up this cable here. We are then going to read this bit of paper, which is going to give us the 100G Let's Play achievements. Then, once you've done that, we are going to come over to this keypad here and pretend that they're numbered one to six. Uh, from left to right, we're gonna click on number four, number six, number three, number one, number two, and finally, number five. That will get us through to the next area. Okay, next one, uh, we are just going to go to this keypad and we are going to input the code uh, 36961 and that's going to get us to, to the next area. Okay, we are going to come downstairs. And we are going to come over to this room, uh, this area here. It should give you the archiving achievement. There you go, archive time. Right, then what we're going to do is we're going to come over to this little switch thing here. And we're going to go left, left, right, left. Which will unlock that uh, button. Now, even though we don't need this button for the keypad, which you're going to see in a moment, um, we still have to get it to be able to input the code. So, the code that you want is the V, the square, the plus, V twice, and then the square. And then the door will be open for some reason. I, I think that's a bug but um, the door will be open. And that'll bring you to the second locker room. Right, next what you're going to do is you are going to go to this uh, switch lever system here and you are going to put uh, up, down, up, up, down, down. That's gonna open up this fuse box. We need the number one key for that. Right. Uh, we are going to come over to this symbol here, or this, this math puzzle, and we're going to put in plus in the first segment, minus in the second segment, and then divide on the third segment. This is going to open up the box, which is right next to us, uh, which is gonna give us the one key. 
Then we're going to go to the fuse box and we are going to input the, the code 9143. This will open up a locker on the other side. We can pick up the key and that's going to open up this door. Right, next thing we're going to do, we're going to come over to this overturned desk. We're going to pick up this number one. And we're going to come over to this key pad. Oops, the one will go on. You just want to put in this to the code 219. Okay, so this is the second of the um, additional uh, areas. I tell lie, sorry, this is not the second of the uh, extra areas. We already had that. So we're going to come over to this uh, keypad and you're going to put in the code 95273 which will open up this door and then we are going to come over to this keypad and we're going to type in the code oops yellow red blue green there we go and we're going to come through the door which is going to load up our next uh, area. Right, you want to look at that. Then we're gonna to go to the right, uh, interact with this VCR thing and pick up the plus. We are then going to come over to this uh, maths puzzle and we're going to put minus in the first slot, plus in the second slot, and division in the third slot. We're going to interact with this box. We're going to pick up this C5 chemical flask. And at this point, you should be at uh, nine of 10 achievements. We are going to come over to this uh, segment here. And the first potion test tube is going to be C5. The second one is going to be HC3N. The third one is going to be H2C20. The fourth one is going to be this tall one. The fifth one is going to be HCCNC. And the, oops, for crying out loud. Pick up the other potion. There we go. The last one is going to be C4H. What that's going to do is it's going to trigger the last achievement and there's your thousand G. I uh, hope this walkthrough has helped. Thank you everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a good one.